Um, and all those pink ribbon items that you buy, they all give different amounts to research or to you know nonprofits. So you've got the marketers, and then you've got the nonprofits. And where you know where is the money going? Where, yeah, where where so is it going? I would just say I would just say before you buy something, find out where your money is going. If it's you know if it meets your approval for you know an amount or a percentage, then it's worth buying. But don't just buy something with a pink ribbon on it thinking that you're helping anybody because you aren't necessarily. <laughs> um, so I one one question I have for you is how did your faith, you know, play into this? Because this is mortality now and your family and your children. And so how how did faith play and help you through this? I remember I was talking to a friend at work, a very devout Christian woman, And I said to her at the time, and this is when I first found out, I said that it was a a spiritual attack. You know, it was, I felt very strongly that it was part designed to see if I would lose faith. Now, in saying that, did God give me cancer? Absolutely not. That, that, no. Now, could God use it to, you know, for his purpose? And to, you know, to glorify him, of course. Um, but I felt like part of the reason I got cancer was to, you know, to test my faith. He wasn't testing me, you know, <laughs> something else was. Um, I was, you know, I felt that, you know, in turning to him throughout it, I got message after message after message that he was hearing me. And really? hearing, you know, oh, yeah, just little things, you know, um, I had a very bad day <laughs> one day. Um, I had to have an MRI of my brain. They suspected, um, because I was having bad headaches and migraines, um, they suspected that perhaps it had gone into my brain. So I went and had an MRI. And they said, oh, no, your brain's clear of cancer, but you have a lot of white matter deterioration. So, of course, you know, I decide that that means I'm going to have Alzheimer's. You know, <laughs> go down that, I go down that, you know, that path of, you know, what, you know, what was the worst thing I can think of. So I had to go to see a neurologist about this. It, it turned out fine. But here I was. I was, I was laying in bed, and I was, I was just stressed. I couldn't. I well, could I'd have a headache see. from the stress from what you were going through, <laughs> I'm sure. Yes, yes, definitely that as well. Um, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, we had just started in a new church, um, the pastor called, and he said to me, you weren't on my list today, but I just felt the need to call you. And right then, every stress left. I just knew. It was it was kind of like a little way that God said, hey, it's going to be okay. You know, he, he put Excellent. one of his angels in, in my path that day. And I went in, and I was able to, you know, I was able to be calm in the office and what she told me was, I, yeah, I had more than the average of whatever this white matter deterioration was, but it was still within normal ranges. Okay. So I knew. Um, you know, I, you know if you, I, I think that if you turn to him in times of this, no matter what the answer is, I think it, it makes the way a lot easier for you. Right. Cause, you know, cause you know. Just because my situation turned out well, you know, another person, their situation could be bad. Um, that doesn't mean that God is not there. Right. You know, he he could turn these situations to, to, into his good. So do you, do you feel um, like your faith grew throughout this experience because you kept yes, having these? I would these? say it did. You know, there's a, there, there's a reason it happened and... And I don't, you know, and I don't know the reason. Maybe it isn't even a reason. Maybe there's a purpose, is what I should say. And there's a purpose he he has for me in this. Um, I feel, you know, that maybe I'm supposed to help educate others. You know, I have that that dense breast tissue. A lot of women have that, and they don't know that they can have an ultrasound to check that even further. You know, I didn't know, you know, that my tissue was so dense. You know, until that doctor told me that he, there could have been a golf ball size malignancy and he couldn't see it. You know, so there's a lot of education that I think needs to be done. You know, I was sitting in, I had to go see my provider for some other unrelated thing to cancer. And it was when I was bald and I had a hat on. 
there was a lady sitting across from me in the waiting room, and I didn't know her, a perfect stranger. And she said to me, that's a cute hat. And I said, well, thanks. And she said, they didn't have cute hats when I was going through it. Oh, wow. What she, she wasn't telling me about hats. She was telling me I got through it, and so will you. Wow, that's beautiful. And maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, mm-hmm. maybe maybe I will encourage someone else. You know, and it those things those things stick out to you hugely. Did did your relationship grow more um, with your husband as well? Because it sounds like he was the total saint through this whole experience. <laughs> well, he's a saint to put up with me anyway. <laughs> but yes, um, you know, I, I think we're even closer. I think you know, I, I you know, I always knew I could depend on, on him for anything, but this was like the hugest proof ever that I could. You know, and now we totally depend on him for everything. Now that you're through it, have your children said anything, um, you know, to you? It's Cause they saw you go through all of this. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I had cancer light, you know, mm-hmm. I, I did not have a situation that other people had. I had a lump back to me. I had one node that was, not hugely impacted by it. I didn't have to have further surgery. I had only four chemo treatments that did not make me ill. And then I had 19 radiation treatments that I did not burn from. Um, So I got off easy compared to what some people go through. So fortunately, my kids were able to see me go through it with a minimum of really bad days. Right. You know, I didn't, I had a few bad days. So you, I you were that. mom pretty much <laughs> yes. getting through yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I did, I did sleep a lot. I was tired and mm-hmm. they understood that. They'd come hang out in the room with me and we'd watch TV and, you know, do all, you know, whatever we could do together. But, you know, my son more recently as, you know, as I, my energy level has finally come back. So it's, it's just nice that you're, you know, back to you. Oh, you know, because sweet. it wasn't me, you know, I was in bed a lot. I was right. tired. I was exhausted. Um, but they, now, you know, I, <laughs> I know it's behind us now because, you know, my hair is growing and they both tell me I have old lady hair. <laughs> they don't like the current haircut or style I have. <laughs> so they tell me I look like a grandmother. Oh, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> so, you know, but when they can joke with you like that. They That's feel good. It's behind, you're, behind yeah, them you're back too. on track, which is great. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. um, like 40% of women, um, they find that lump themselves. That's how they find their breast cancer. So you were one of the 40%. And my question to you is, you know, what advice do you have for, for women? I We all know at 40, you start with your baseline and you need to go every year. You know, especially if you have a family history, you should start sooner um, with the mammogram. And then, of course, those same things the doctors always tell us, you know, balanced diet, healthy weight, active lifestyles. But what what have you learned that you'd want to share with women listening to, to this tonight? Yeah, do self-exams without fail once a month. Don't miss them. Um, go for your mammograms, even though mine did not show up on the mammogram uh, because of the dense tissue. It, you don't know that that's your situation, um, but that that self exam is probably the best thing that you can do for yourself. And if you don't want to do it yourself, get your husband or your boyfriend to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's that that in itself saved me. Um, you know, I, perhaps I could have found it sooner. Um, it's it's hard to say. Uh, at two and a half centimeters, it was pretty good size. But I found it when I found it, and fortunately it had not spread. So finding it yourself is is better than it sitting there until somebody else finds it. That's, it that's the biggest, biggest lesson, I'd say. Is there any other advice you tell women that are facing this? Um, uh, I'm trying to think. I guess I I guess I'd have to say just, you know, listen to your doctors, but ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid to get a second opinion. Don't be afraid to take charge of your your own treatment and say, "No, I don't want this or I don't want that." There are people who turn down chemo. There are people who turn down radiation. Um I did both because I wanted to do everything I could. But educate yourself and yes, that does mean sometimes using Google, but 
try to stay away from the <laughs> the horror stories. They're <laughs> out there. Because when you think about it, people post because there's some, they need to know something. They're not mm-hmm. posting their happy stories. <laughs> but do your research, ask your questions, and, and you know, be your own best advocate. Well, I have to say, I've you know, I didn't know your full story, and you're just so brave to share it with everyone, and um, I, I thank you for that. And I think it's been an excellent Veronica Live, so you can find Tracy's, uh, listen to Tracy's story. You know, find it on our Veronica Live podcast. We're on Facebook and Twitter. And Tracy, I can't thank you enough for being so brave today to share and tell us your story. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this. You know, it's, it's, it's important for everyone to know what someone goes through. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for joining Veronica Live. Thank you.